Hi guys, I thought I would make you another video. I'm going to try and just get so much positive content out there because I know that pretty much everybody's is shit in a break at the moment, to put it uh, mildly. Everybody's worried about their finances, their health, like the world's going to hell in a handcart, isn't it? Um, so I've just been driving there and thinking like we, we really need to put a positive spin on this. One of the mottos that I always live my life by is you'll always come up against situations, people, whatever that you you can't control. So shit will get thrown at you in life. Sometimes you've got no control over that. So really, we've got little control over this coronavirus and how it's going to affect our health and our businesses and stuff like that. But what you can control, what you can always control is your attitude to it. I always try and teach Iris this as well. So no matter what shit happens in life, you can control how you think about it, how you deal with it, how you manage it. So we need to put a positive spin on this. So you might be working from home now, um, or you might have no work. But the way I look at that is like, yeah, it's possibly shite financially, stuff like that, but you've got so much more time on your hands. So I'm sure every single one of us have got things that we want to do with our life, but the excuse is always I've not got enough time. Um, the things I hear as a personal trainer is people would really like to get fit, they'd really like to lose weight, they'd really like to start controlling their diet or they'd maybe really like to go plant-based or vegan, but they've not got the time. Right, so if you're not commuting into work, um, potentially you've got a, a, an hour or more twice a day that you're not having to do that commute, so that's less stress, which is great, and more time on your hands. So don't just fritter that time away and let it just dissolve into nothing look at that time and go, I could spend those two hours in the day exercising. You can exercise from home, that is not a problem. There's absolutely loads of content out there online. So instead of just sitting consuming like Facebook, Instagram, news apps, stuff that's going to stress you out, get yourself on YouTube and just get a workout done. You don't even need to spend an hour, half an hour, 15 minutes. Um, it doesn't have to be like a traditional workout that you think jumping around and getting really sweaty. There's yoga there, there's meditation. Um, there's absolutely nothing to stop you going out for a walk, a run, a cycle. If you've got your kids at home, if kids are off school, then take them with you. Kids need that stimulation as well. Um, get the workout maybe on the TV if you've got a smart TV in your living room. Get the kids joining in, get the family joining in. There's so many things you can do. Um, if you've perhaps always wanted to lose weight, now is the time to start controlling your diet. Um, so much information online in terms of how to control your diet to lose weight, um, get yourself in a calorie deficit, you've maybe got a bit of time to research that. Teach yourself how to use an app like MyFitnessPal um, and start controlling your food. Um, if you're at home all day, then you, you've got time, more time to prepare food, so that's not an excuse. Um, you can be preparing healthy meals and snacks each time. Um, you can even do a bit of a batch cook. If you're working from home, it's easy to get a big pan of soup or curry or whatever on and just let that cook away while you're working. Then batch it up into boxes or bags, get it in the freezer. Um, I've got loads of recipes. Just give me a shout and I'll send you some. Um, same with workouts. There's loads on my YouTube, my Instagram and my Facebook. Um, but if you want me to send you a workout, then just give me a shout and I'll send you something. If you're lucky enough to maybe have some workout equipment at home, um, then you can get a workout done at home. Again, if you've not got much of a clue what to do with it, then give me a shout. Um, I know financially times are hard, but maybe if you're really worried about not being able to get to the gym, if you're somebody who's used to lifting weights and you're worried about uh, that stimulus on your body, you could maybe go online and treat yourself to some equipment to use at home. Um, and also never underestimate the power of body weight workouts. So mastering and utilising your own body weight can give you, no matter how fit you are, a really hard workout. Um, if you're a beginner, just mastering a body weight squat can be hard enough. If you're advanced, you could try and teach yourself how to do handstands or plyometric press-ups or like just the fitter you get, the harder it gets really. So really need to try and put a positive spin on this. Try not to think about the negatives. I know that there, there are many for many people really just try and look at the positives you've got that extra time spend with your family spend on making yourself feel physically and mentally healthy and well try not to consume too much information and news and scaremongering 
try and maybe structure your day as well because human beings um we really thrive on routine and structure so lay yourself out how, how are you going to manage your day um i'll certainly be doing that when the schools close i just will be having a very structured day um, and that will stop us from going crazy and stop me from killing her basically <laughs> um yeah so structure things maybe allow yourself to only consume the news once a day in the evening something like that because we're just bombarded with so much information that can put your stress le levels through the roof and we really don't need that um, make sure you you're keeping you your sleeping routine good as well you could even use the fact that you're working from home to maybe get a little bit of extra sleep having a little bit of a lie in not staying in bed till like lunchtime because that's just going to flip your whole body clock and your circadian rhythm on its head but maybe just a little half hour or an hour's extra sleep every night everybody can benefit from that and um, try not to just sit in the house and eat shite and veg out play computer games watch tv and stuff like that yeah maybe do that for like an hour a day like as you, you're kind of chilling out zone out time but don't get stuck in the rut of doing that because potentially we could be in the thick of this for i don't know three four six months like who knows so let's just take control of what we can keep take control of look out for each other like message your mates more talk to people on the phone there's nothing to stop us doing that um and just look after yourself. Peace and love. Speak to you soon.